Hello everyone, I'm Jenna and I'm an application specialist here at Blue Marble Geographics. And today I'm answering the question, how do I create a quiver plot in Global Mapper? A quiver plot uses the orientation of an arrow shaped point style to signify direction, such as for wind or ocean currents. The size of the arrow usually signifies magnitude. In Global Mapper, you can apply a quiver plot to an entire layer or a subset of selected points. Let's get started. In my Global Mapper workspace, I've loaded a bathymetric elevation layer and a layer of points derived from a CSV of surface ocean currents data derived from high frequency radar systems. We're going to create a quiver plot from these points. Let's open the point layer's attributes. There are two different ways to specify direction and magnitude for arrows for a quiver plot in Global Mapper. Your data could have an attribute containing the direction in degrees relative to zero pointing to the top of the map, drawn clockwise. In this case, a magnitude attribute would be optional. Or your data could have U and V components, such as my example here. These values represent the orthogonal velocity components, which define the strength towards north and east. The U component is parallel to the x-axis. A positive U current comes from the west and is heading east. And the V component is parallel to the y-axis. The positive V is heading north. Global Mapper will use these two values to compute the orientation and size of the arrow to plot the direction and magnitude of the current. To apply a quiver plot to all the points in a layer, I'm going to double click on the layer in the control center. Choose the point styles tab, and then near the bottom, we'll find the option to use quiver plot or direction vector symbols option. So here we have some options for specifying an arrow symbol. There are a few choices. Um, we also have the option to set the scale. The size of the arrow will be scaled relative to the largest magnitude. Uh, if no magnitude is specified, all the arrows will be the same size. And in our case, remember, we have U and V components. So we'll specify the columns from our data that have the U and V values. And then click OK. And the quiver plot has been successfully created for this current data. If you have a series of quiver plots, you might wish to add them to an animation to visualize the currents over time. So I have an example where I've done this process for several different point layers, and I've created an animation. If you have any questions, uh, be sure to visit our website, bluemarblegeo.com, or email us at geohelp at bluemarblegeo.com. Thanks for watching.